Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again at Bonneville High in Ogden, ready to witness another wonderful game of the Ogden Outlaws against their opponents today, the South California Seahorses. Your Ogden Outlaws! Or your Ogden Outlaws, as they are called. Referee tonight will be Alan Chapman. Assistance ref will be Scott Reynolds and linesman Matt Godfrey. Tonight we have a real special treat for us. We've got Ogden's very, very own young and talented Caitlin Jones. Who's going to be singing that Caitlin Jones from Ogden will be singing the uh, national anthem this evening. She has an angelic voice apparently. And she's going to be a music major somewhere in the Boston uh, city limits, perhaps at Juilliard, so good luck to her. Here we stand for the uh, National Anthem this evening. I think uh, estimate to be at least uh, 300, maybe 500 tonight. The cameraman's just handed me a note. Yeah, 499. So we look good tonight. We're going to be well supported. So the starting lining up for the Seahorses is Aaron Fennelson in goal, Andrew George, Brian Ponce, Rob Hall, Kevin Kaiser, Jorge Gonzalez. Felix Horn, Doug Armstrong, Jordan Sharan, Kobe Liston, Ryan Shaw. And the starting lineup with numbers of the Ogden Outlaws is Casey John in goal keep. Matt Cool in defense, number 17. Renan Fernandez in defense, number 19. Derek Boggs in defense, number 20. Number 22, Connor Coletti in defense. Midfield number nine, Chance Bukowski. Number 23, midfield Carl Christensen. 14, midfield Jaden Hoth. Midfield six, Ross Williams. Forward number three, Daniel Burnham. And forward number two, Jordan Roylers. We're looking forward to this night. And we hope for another victory by the Ogden Outlaws over their opposition, come all the way from Southern California. And uh, my technical, uh, shall we say, adjunct this evening, um, Fausto is not here. So um, he's got a bit of a history that he'll probably um, tell us about a little bit later about the team from Southern California. As it is right now, I'm in it cold. I don't know anything about them whatsoever other than they're in our league and uh, we hope to wipe and smear them tonight. So with any luck, we will. People are doing their respective huddles, going onto the field. I'll take this opportunity to uh, thank a couple of our sponsors. 
Umbro, Umbro True to Soccer since 1924. For more information, visit www.umbro.com, uslsoccer.com. Score stats, news, and more exclusively on uslsoccer.com, USLW League, PDL on Facebook. Visit USL Pro on Facebook at facebook.com uh, slash um, USLW League or USL PDL. USL Live. USL Nation, uslnation.com is the league's official online video channel. Check out over 100 games on USL Nation in 2012. Are you a citizen of USL Nation? Follow all the action on the web's most exciting soccer social media platform. Visit uslnation.com today. Also like to make a mention of uh, Ogland uh, Outlaw, Outlaws Recreation Pro Program. Info on both websites, OgdenOutlaws.com, OutlawsFC.com, and the U3 to U9 Recreation Program, and also the Comp U7 to U18 Program at uh, OgdenOutlawsFC.com or OutlawsFC.com. So the teams are taking their position on the field, and kickoff is about to commence. Kick off by Ogden Outlaws. Okay, kick back to Carl Christensen. Christensen, defensive kick. Back to Casey John in goal. Casey John to Connor Coletti. Connor Coletti looking. And stopped by the Seahorses. Seahorses intercept, back heel, nicely done. But number 14, Jordan Hoth's on it. And kicked out by Renan Fernandez. Hey, we don't want to hear Colby's name over here, coach. We don't want to hear it. Bit of banter going on between the coaches behind me, highly distracting. Let's hope we uh, can keep it in hand. Okay, so uh, free kick to Ogden Outlaws. Goalkeeper Casey John about to take it. Nice big kick sailing in. Heads go up. Seahorses punt it back. Matt Kuehl's got it. Knocks it over to Bukowski. Bukowski back to Matt Kuehl. Matt Kuehl looking. Taps it back to centre defence. And that's Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs taps it up to Jaden Hoth. Jaden Hoth back to Boggs. Boggs looking to his left. All the way over to Matt Kuehl. Matt wants to do a long one. Oh, challenged, and the ball goes out of play. Ogden Outlaws throwing. Quite a decent throw all the way up there. Daniel Burnham taps it over to Roylands. Offside. Lionsman calls an offside free kick to the Seahorses. Goalkeepers coming out to take it. Everybody congregating in the mid-center of the field. Here we go. Nice, chucks the ball forward. Nice head by Cool, all the way back up there. Over on our left, midfield left. Bukowski challenge, has it taken away? Seahorses have got it. Passing in the center. Tap it all over to their left, their left winger defender in this case, number four. Looking good with his feet and fast too. Wants to cross it over, ground pass. Almost intercepted by Seahorses and uh, played out fairly decently by Ogden Outlaws defense. Umbro, true to soccer since 1924. For more information, visit www. Mention a couple of other uh, sponsors quickly. Zions Bank, we haven't forgotten who keeps us in business here at Ogden Outlaws. And Digital Impulse, DJ Specialist, Entertainers, DJ Vito, 801 603 0434. Casey John about to take the uh, goal kick. Nice punt up the field. Challenge on Jaden Hoth. Seahorses in control of it. Comes over their defensive left. Nodded up a little. Nice control, back to their center. Taps it up to the center, forward. And uh, Fernandez, nice header, headers it on, but nice shot there. First time punt with the inside of the left foot by Seahorses. Casey John had good hands on that, and he's rolled it out to um, Matt Cool. Taps it up the field. Intercepted by Seahorses. Carl Christensen heading the middle to Jaden Hoth. Jaden Hoth back, uh, back to Matt. 
Matt plays it to Renan. Renan forward, intercepted in the air. Oh, high kick there, but the ref didn't notice it or didn't see it. <clears throat> Played out to the forward right by Seahorses. Matt Cole intercepts. Nicely done, Matt. Gives it back to uh, Jaden Hoth. Taps it up the field. And Roylands is dribbling and wants to cross it over, but not, he was going out of play there anyway, intercepted by Seahorses. Tap to their centre, Connor Coletti's got it. Nice control, slides to maintain control, gives it to Jaden. Jaden's in shooting range, does take a shot. Goalkeeper's got it with his hands. Like to mention, eroweving.com, eroweber, real estate company. 801 67 6500. And pressure immediately on us, but harmlessly contained by Casey John, our goalkeeper. Rolls out to Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs to Carl Christensen. Carl to Ross. Ross Williams. Pressured from behind by the Seahorses. Back to Boggs. Boggs taps it up. Uh, intercepted. Nice high ball. Out of danger's way by Seahorses. Seahorses have got it. Maintain control on their midfield left. Ross Williams contains that nicely, but ball given away. Back to Seahorses. Seahorses is looking uh, looking in the centre. Intercepted nicely by Roy Lentz, but Seahorses still in control of ball. Long pass. Derek Boggs contains it. Goalkeeper's got it. Drop kick. Or is he going to roll it? We'll see. Rolls it out to Renan Fernandez. Gives it back to Matt Cool. Matt Cool looking. Wants to tap it up with his left foot, and he does so. Everybody's running, not offside yet. Let's hope it stays like that. Daniel Burnham nods it to Ross. Ross Williams has got it. He's on the left. He wants to dribble in, he wants to shoot. Nice ball. Goes for the cross, goes for the head of um, Roy Lentz there, and slightly long ball. And thank goodness, Fausto has arrived with his technical knowledge. You want to give us a quick summary of this team, if you know anything about it, Fausto? Yes, uh, how you doing, Tom? Uh, great to be here again, you know, uh, broadcasting the game. Well, the Seahorses, you know, they're a pretty, you know, a steady team in uh, this conference, you know. They're in the middle of the table, so it should be, uh, you know, a great game today. So all the way from Southern California, do you know what town? Uh, I'm not sure what town, Tom. Okay, thanks. So um, thank goodness you're here. That's all I can say. Wonderful. So 0-0 um, zero, zero at this stage. Yeah, you know, the first six minutes, you know, hopefully, you know, we can get, you know, uh, the rhythm of the game, you know, try and make chances so we can get, you know. Daniel Burnham over to Royance. Strikes out with the inside of his letter, right foot and nicely, uh, nicely body saved by the goalkeeper there. What do you think of that, Fausto? Yeah, good job by, uh, by Jordan, but, you know, he kind of didn't put enough power in that shot. So, but this is good for the team, you know, uh, you know they're making chances. So hopefully they can uh, keep it up. Excellent. Thank you, Fausto. And Casey John's got that. Rolls it out to Fernandez. Fernandez over to Matt Cool. Matt Cool's got it. Back to, Fern uh, back to Kyle Christensen. They're playing with it over there on our defensive left. Looking for some space. Everybody's fairly casual at the moment. Daniel Burnham gives it to uh, Mr. Hoth. Mr. Hoth back to Fernandez. Fernandez back to Casey John. Casey John to Derek Boggs. He's looking. Long ball up the center. Intercepted by the head of a seahorse defender. Holding the ball at the back to see horses, back to the goalkeeper. He's going to strike it long, and he does. Goes up the field. Matt Cool's looking for it. Goes out of play, I think. Not yet, but now. So, throw in to Ogden Outlaws. Matt Cool's taking it. Get loud, everybody. All, uh, all uh, 399 of our supporters are at present mute, but hopefully that will change over time. Um, Yep, Mr. Hoff passes that over to Ross Williams. And ball goes out of play, unfortunately, throw into Seahorses. Takes opportunity to thank Elite Electrolytes for their sponsorship of the Ogden Outlaws and Scoreboard Sports 801 292 3500. Nice nudge forward by the Seahorses. They're looking in the centre there, centre forward. And he's not run off the ball, he's looking for a pass. Intercepted by Matt. Cool. And the ref blows it. And 
Thank goodness, a free kick to our Gun Outlaws. What was going on there, Fausto? Yeah, they were holding uh, Matt there in, in the area, so you know the rest saw that he called out foul against our uh, seahorses. Excellent, thank you for that. Casey John about to take the free kick. Long ball over to our forward right. Le uh, right, Ross Williams has got it. Looking for Connor Coletti. Connor Coletti powerfully controls that. Gives it back to Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs. Oh, and he's nice forward. Everybody's okay. Ref called it nicely. And free kick. Carl Christensen about to take it. I'd like to thank uh, Wake Up Now. Another sponsor for Ogden Outlaws. www.wakeupnow.com. Phone 801-373-2600. And Hertz rent a car in Ogden, 801-614-5005 and Chicken Filet, 4067 Riverdale Road, 801-394-0661 and Bomber Athlete, Bomber Fast, Bomber Strong. Here he goes. Ground pass to centre by Connor Coletti to Carl Christensen who nudges it out to Daniel Burnham who's giving it back to Connor who wants to do a long cross and he does to Ross's feet. Pressurised by, uh, pressured by, um, oh, now the ball goes to the forward uh, right of the seahorses. Seahorses are slowing it, but Matt's contained it nicely in defence and clears it to his left. Seahorses have got it back. Play it back to the goalkeeper. It's a pretty fast moving game, Fausto. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, they're going back and forth, you know, to each uh, goalie's end. You know, hopefully, you know, that miss by uh, Renan, you know, they didn't hurt us. Nice stop by Derek Boggs onto Kyle on uh, both headers and uh, the ball's with us again and Mr. Hoth has got it and he's trying to cross it to centre and the goalkeeper gets that and uh, they maintain control. Overarm throw to their defensive left and Seahorses is, uh, are moving up. Playing for time, waiting for the team to go forward. Seahorses in their defensive left. Looking for space. Oh. Connor Coletti. Shadowing. To their centre forward. Oh, nicely intercepted by Renan Fernandez. That was going to their uh, one of their forwards who was going to go through and hopefully make a strike for them on that, but didn't, thank goodness. Matt Cool's got it. Gives it to Mr. Hoth. Mr. Hoth to Bukowski back to Matt Cool. Matt Cool's looking, looking for a long pass. Short one to centre, Carl Christensen. All the way back to Derek Boggs. Derek gives it to Carl Christensen. Big boot forward to our forward left. He was looking for uh, Bukowski there, but ball went out of play. Throwing seahorses. Header goes out by Seahorses, Ogden uh, Outlaws throw in. Matt Cool takes it quickly to Bukowski. Oh, nice bit of head control there. Dribbling, but forced off the ball rather slyly by the Seahorses. They play it back and pass it over to their left winger, number 10. Acting as such anyway. Drives to middle, looking for a centre player. And uh, nice control by Seahorses. Nice control. And they call for a handball. Unintentional, the ref says, or perhaps he didn't see it. But a good call by the ref as far as I'm concerned. He didn't call a penalty. Excellent. Seahorses are quite dynamic, dynamic up there, aren't they? Yeah, they're a pretty good team. You know, uh, very, very steady, you know, very organized. They have, you know, good touch on the ball. Yeah, and... Uh, Right, so that was a kind of in-step kick with the uh, right foot there and the Seahorses player fell to the floor and it rolled harmlessly out of play, thank goodness. Goal kick, Casey John to take it. This goal kick brought to you by Zion Baines. They haven't forgotten to keep them in business. Casey John punts it to our midfield uh, left. Matt tried to contain that, but the ball went out of play, throwing uh, seahorses. Seahorses still in control. Um, Royal Lens has got that. Taps it to Daniel Burnham. Daniel Burnham back to Kyle, who's slowing it down nicely. Looking for Connor Coletti on our right. Gives it back to Derek. Derek, oh, nice shoulder anticipation there by Derek. Countered that shoulder barge very nicely by the seahorse players. 
Royland's trying to get that and badgering uh, the seahorses. Seahorses in control though. Give it to their left winger, number 10. He's looking for somebody. Climb to see the bogs. Uh, off the ball, a bit of a tussle between Kyle and uh, one of the Seahorse players. A ref calls that free kick to Seahorses. A lot of loud, very uh, strong verbal uh, instruction coming on from the uh, Seahorses bench. Nice to hear that. Yeah, and uh, you know, that foul must have been a must foul, you know. Um, Bug saw that play was getting away from him, you know, he had a free on the ball, so he had to foul him. Yeah. Not a bad foul if there's going to be one, right? Yeah. Crossed over, looking for a header. Seahorses didn't get it. Nodding about there. Players going up. Tussle in the centre. And standing with a ball in front of him, he turns to take a shot. Seahorse player and boots it right over. Two players on the ground right now. What's the ref going to do? Did you see that? What happened there, Fausto? Looks like uh, uh, all three players, you know, two from the Outlaws, one from the Seahorse, went up for the header, and uh, the player from the Seahorse just got caught in the middle. And uh, player number 15, Colby, he's an ex-Outlaw, uh, so everybody knows how he plays. Right. So they're going to have him on lock all day uh, long, Tom. Really? Thank you very much, Fausto. Nice to know that. Here we come. Ball to our forward left. Daniel Burnham's got it. Body control nicely. Oh, ran off the ball slightly there by uh, Seahorses. Seahorses tap it to Renan Fernandez. And uh, we maintain control. Ogden Outlaws, Carl Christensen turns turns the ball to Jaden uh, to Daniel Burnham, to Jaden Hoth. And Jaden get it, gets it back again. Wants to contain it, slow it down, passes it back to Kyle. All Ogden Outlaws practically are up. Jaden slowing it, putting his body in the way nicely. Matt takes it, taps it up to Daniel. Daniel back to Kyle, slowing the play down. Daniel Burnham, is that? Yeah, Daniel Burnham again, turning on the ball. Nice tricky play, oh, back heel by Kyle. And uh, Seahorses kick that nicely over to Connor Coletti. Thank you, Seahorses. And um, here we go, Derek Box has got it. Slows it nicely, gives it back to Connor. Connor looking. Connor whacks out onto the rump of a seahorse player and the ball goes out of play, throw into Ogden Outlaws. That was a real mailman special. <coughs> nice throw, Connor, looking for Ross. Royland's there too. Seahorses make a breakout, play back to defence, pass it over to their right defender. He's looking for a long ball, short ball. Bit of a daisy cutter. Kyle and Fernandez intercept that. Jaden Hoth giving it to Connor Coletti. Connor Coletti slow, um, taps it back to Jaden. Nice, nice, relaxed play by us at the moment. I'm enjoying it. And uh, we're staying in control, Fausto. Yeah, Tom, you see, has a good thing. You know, we're dominating the game, you know, dominating the ball. So what I have to do is, you know, is make chances. The forwards is checking a little, you know, to uh, have a chance at the ball and open up space. Yes, I think so. And nice defensive header by Fernandez. Jaden Hoth controlling it and gives it back to Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs to Connor. Connor looking in on our defensive left. Does a long ball up the wing to Daniel Burnham. Coming to the 18 yard, takes a strike on it with his right foot straight away. And ball goes harmlessly across the goal mouth, unfortunately, and goes out of play. Is that a throw in? Yeah, it's going to be a throw in for the Seahorses. Thank you. Got to wipe that mist off my glasses. Can you wipe that mist off my glasses for me? Thank you very much, Fausto. <clears throat> throw in Seahorses. There it goes. Kyle, big body on that, slaps it with his gut. Seahorses coming up the middle, go to their right winger, and unfortunately for him, uh, he wanted to control that, but ball goes out of play. Connor Coletti takes Strain for Ogden Outlaws, back to Derek Box. Derek bodies it down, looking for the goalkeeper, gives it to Casey John. Knocks it over to our defensive left, uh, <clears throat> Matt Cool. Matt Cool rolling forward, looking for a long cross, I think, to, oh, straight up the field. Looking for Daniel Burnham who's good on those runs. Uh, Seahorses uh, goalkeeper intercepts that nicely. Waiting for his team members to move up. Nobody's in a rush at this stage. Drop kick, bounce, bounce. Fernandez, nice, taps that forward nicely. Chested down by Seahorses. 
Roiland's on that. Matt goes for a challenge. Seahorse is still in there. Cross coming over. Sky, sky shot. Awkward one too, but Casey, uh, Casey John has got out with nice firm hands. And he rolls it out to Matt Cool on our defensive left. Passes it to Kyle. Kyle to Derek Boggs. Strikes it up the middle. Headed down by Seahorses to their center. And nice one, Bukowski. Nice, good old fashioned slide interception. Beautiful play. Bukowski dribbling up center, takes a swack. And if it hadn't had a bit of a de deflection there, it might have gone a bit further. I think it deflected. What What do you think, Fausto? Yeah, when Chess took that shot, hit the uh, defense ham, so the ref is calling handball. So there's a great spot on the field for you know somebody to you know, put it on net. Thank you very much, Fausto. Yeah, uh, so we get a free kick. Who's going to take it, Fausto? What's your prophecy say? What does your oracular ball tell you? It looks like uh, David Burnham, he's been practicing uh, free kicks during practice. Him and uh, Mass, so it's going to be one of them two uh, taking the shot. Thank you very much. Exciting moment here for Ogden Outlaws. Let's hope we can plug this, stick it in, and get a goal. Ref adjusting the Seahorses wall. Seahorses goalkeepers barking instructions from the back there. Looks like Matt's going to strike this. And he does beautifully. Right right to the hands, unfortunately, the goalkeeper. Well intercepted by the goalkeeper, wouldn't you say, Fausto? Yeah, you know, the shot didn't have, you know, any uh, um, placing on it. went straight around the middle. You know, goalies had to just catch it. It's nice to get through and around the wall, though. I mean, that's something in itself. I could never do that. Yeah. Here we go. Seahorses on there. Oh, challenge there by uh, Connor Coletti. And Ross is... Ross, oh, Daniel Burnham's going for that. Now Ross is going for it. Ball's played out. And throw into Ogden Outlaws. Taken quickly. Ref slows it. Wants people to get in position here. See your horses going strike into the center, running up field, dribbling across diagonally, looking for someone up front there, and intercepted nicely by Fernandez. Seahorse is still in control, cross it to the center, goalkeeper goes up, Casey John goes up nicely, grabs it with both hands. Rolled out by uh, Casey John to Matt Cool. Left. Cuts the field at diagonally. Looking for Daniel Burnham. Intercepted by the Seahorses. Seahorses play back to their center defender. Holds the ball. Nobody's pressurizing him too badly. Seahorses moving up from this midfield. And Derek, Derek Hobbs nicely on that. Intercepts that ball nicely. Matt Cool wants to shadow that out of play. It goes out harmlessly. Goal kick. All right, just so you know, all the Tony's pizzas have arrived. So that was a nice stop nice by Derek Box there. Before they are all gone. All right, take this moment to uh, thank our new sponsor today. Burger King, new sponsor and fundraiser for the Ogden Outlaws. Um, on sale for $5 is a 40 value coupon book available at the concession stand. So I suggest every citizen of Ogden immediately come to the game and buy at least half a dozen of those each. $40 in value being sold for five. Burger King, our new sponsor. Take advantage of it, ladies and gentlemen. What minute in the game are we, Fausto? Roughly. Oh, played across. Go! Oh, almost in there by Ross Williams. Played across by Bukowski, I think that was. Good save by the Seahorses goalkeeper. That could have gone anywhere. It could have just as easily gone in as hit him, but he was in the right place at the right time. What do you think that was, Fausto? Yeah, that, that was a great play by us. You know, a good job by the goalie, you know, saving that shot. You know, that, that ball, you know, was going straight inside the net, but, you know, the goalie uh, took it out. Yeah, good job by Seahorses goalkeeper. Uh, Ross Williams about to take the corner for Ogden Outlaws. Nice, nice corner. Heads up. 
try to clear it out, yes, and almost in there. Ball fell to the feet of um, Conor Coletti and he struck it, but it was bouncing a little bit wrong, so it kind of rolled and bobbled off harmlessly to uh, the left of the goal. But unfortunate, wouldn't you say, Fausto? Yeah, you know, that was a good uh, chance by Conor. Unfortunately, he couldn't put it on frame, but, you know, this is good for a team that we're getting chances. You know, the more chances we get, you know, eventually, uh, you know, our goal is going to come pretty soon. I think so. I've got the feeling. See horses playing with it over in their uh, midfield right position, but now ball back to us. Casey John taps it to uh, Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs got lots of time and space. Gives it to Carl Christensen back to Derek. Crosses it over to Matt Cool. Stops it going out of play. He's got plenty of time. Nobody's giving him any trouble. Carl Christensen taps it back to Derek Boggs again. Derek's there, Carl's there, Carl's looking. Oh, nice, nice through ball there to Roylance. Roylance dribbling up nicely. Oh, wants to give that over to Ross. Ross got it after all. Fighting for it now on the uh, right wing. Ball goes out of play, throw into uh, Seahorses. Yeah, that was a good play. You know, fortunately, uh, um, uh, Jordan couldn't, you know, pass it in, uh, um, correctly. So it became um, Seahorses ball. Seahorses clear that, <coughs> goes all the way back, rolls straight to uh, Casey John, Casey John to Derek Hobbs. It's nice to have three strong players over here, isn't it? Derek and uh, Connor and Kyle. Don't you think, Fausto? Yeah, you know, they're very big, you know, strong physical players. You know, uh, Bugs, you know, this is our first game as a, as a starter, you know, I think he's doing a very good job. I think so too, and a nice cl compliment to Matt Cool and uh, Renan Fernandez on the other side. So, um, here we go. Kyle's got it. Holding it. Taps it back to Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs is looking. Tries to get that to Daniel. Intercepted by Seahorses. Seahorses looking to intercept, but goes to Renan Fernandez. Nicely. Matt Cool keeps it in and wants to control that, but fighting back for it. Wants it back from the Seahorses. Tenacity of Matt is great. Renan Fernandez stops that with his foot in midair. Nicely done. Connor Coletti slowing the ball in the centre. Gives it to Carl. Carl all the way back to Derek Boggs. Nice slow pace of play. Thoughtful. Gives it to Matt Cool. Matt Cool on our defensive left. Taps it back to Renan Fernandez. Gives it back to Matt. Renan's looking for our right wing. Uh, ball's long, a bit too far, goes out of play. Seahorse is throwing. Seahorse is throwing. Pressure from Connor Coletti. Seahorses play it back. Our centre defender takes it over to their right. Right, right defender wants to keep that in, and he does just about. Chunts it forward. Intercepted by Matt Cool. Botkowski back to, to Jason. Jason to Kyle. Kyle to Matt. Matt looking for a long cross to centre. Looking for Daniel Burnham. Goes to the chest of Roylands. Takes a swipe at it. Player in the way. And Mr. Hoth has got it in the centre. Gives it back to, oh, and it goes over. Nice first time shot there by Roylands. Little bit high, little bit high, little bit to the right. Yeah, that was a good shot. You know, he caught the goalie off his feet. You know, he just stood there. If the ball would have gone on, on frame, it would have been a goal, Tom. That would have been nice. Very, very nice indeed. It's nice to see him strike it first time. Goal kick being taken by the... There it goes. Seahorses goal kick sailing over. Intercepted nicely by Derek Boggs. Uh, Boggs big head there. Big header forward to Bukowski, who goes down. Ref blows on that, so free kick to Ogden Outlaws. Ref having a little word with a couple of players right now. 
Every guy wants to dress like an outlaw. Fernandez. About to take the free kick, or is it Derek? Pretty much everyone up. Renan takes it, chips it to Bukowski's head. Back header by Seahorses. And who's that over there? Is that Daniel Burnham trying to keep it in? Right, thank you. So, um, yeah, corner to Ogden Outlaws. Is Ross Williams going to take that, Fausto? I can't see. Can you give my glasses a quick white? Yeah, it looks like Ross is going to take, you know, if he must practice, you know, set pieces, you know, during the week, you know, so they have, you know, something uh, set up for this uh, free kick. Thank you very much. Here we go. Ross's hand goes up, strikes the ball, nice cross. Ooh, and the heads were up. Goal gets a uh, goalie gets a touch on that, and the ball goes out of play to the other side, but the goalkeeper's down. Is he injured? No, he looks all right. Goal kick to Seahorses. I hear they're really good at water polo. What do you know about them? Uh, not much, but uh, Tommy, that play, you know, a little too dramatic from, you know, from the goalie. You know, uh, our player just went up the chance for the ball. I don't think he deserved a yellow card. You got a yellow card for that? Yeah. Wow, that's strong, strong decision making by the ref. Wow. Goal kick by the uh, Seahorses goalkeeper. Renan Fernandez taps it up. Bukowski controlling. Pressure from Seahorses. Bukowski goes down. Free kick to Ogden Outlaws. What happened, Fausto? Looks like um, Chance, you know, uh, felt a, a hand in his uh, back, so he decided to drop down, you know, and the ref called uh, a foul on that. Thanks for that, Reed Fausto. Looks like uh, Matt Cool is going to take this with his famous left. Backing up. Here it is. Oh, sly ball over to Conor Coletti. Conor Coletti taps it on. Now he looks for a cross and he's looking for one of our forwards. And whether Jaden Hoth touched that or not or put a hand on it, I don't know. But one of the Seahorses fell, so it's free kick to the Seahorses. What was that, Fausto? Yeah, Tom, well, it was uh, um, Jaden kind of had like a hand on the player, so he kind of shut them down, and the ref saw that, so he called foul against uh, the Outlaws. Oh. Looked pretty harmless, though, didn't it? Yeah, it was just a little, you know, uh, shoving a little arm over, you know, the player's uh, shoulder. Nothing too serious. Thank you. Pumped up the middle, looking for the centre forward, goes straight to the goalkeeper. Seahorses, nice pass to Ogden Outlaws goalkeeper. <clears throat> Connor Clay, nice. Taps that ball over and is held from behind, but the ref doesn't, uh, now he calls it, now the ref calls it. So free kick to Ogden Outlaws for pressure on Connor Coletti. Little bit of consternation, little bit of... Um, Aggravation felt by the coaching staff of the Seahorses. You think the ref called that late? But I think he has my problem. No, he doesn't wear glasses, so he doesn't have my problem. Okay, so Bukowski crosses over to center, looking for Royce, uh, Roylands or uh, Daniel Burnham. Uh, goalkeeper intercepts. Waits for Seahorses uh, players to move up. Takes his drop kick. Powerful drop kick. Going straight to center. Intercepted by... Derek Boggs, who's looking for a second header and gets it again. And Jaden Hoth goes up for that. And Bukowski back to Jaden Hoth. Jaden Hoth uh, goes through his legs to Carl Christensen. Carl Christensen to Connor Coletti. Back to Derek Boggs. Back to Casey John. Taps it over to Fernandez. Fernandez to Matt Cool. On our defensive left. Matt's looking for a long cross. No. And he shunts it up the field to the left to Bukowski. But intercepted by Seahorses. Seahorses dribble into center, but back it up to their center defender who taps it forward. And they're looking, they lose it in uh, the center. And Roy Lentz is uh, dribbling to the center on that. Nicely so. Bit of a long last dribble and consequently cleared by Seahorses all the way upfield to our goalkeeper Casey John. Casey John over to Matt Cool on our defensive left. Matt Cool looking. 
chips it up to Bukowski and uh, collision two players uh, ref sides with seahorses free kick to seahorses for someone going over Daniel Burnham's back actually wasn't it Fausto yeah I don't think that was intentional just one of those things right like me falling over you just now when I was getting excited all right played back to uh, their center defender taps it up the center ground ball seahorses turn it Carl shadow in Fernandez intercepts nicely so two players go down Kyle and number nine for Seahorses don't forget those Burger King booklets down free there kick to Seahorses just up from the center circle a little bit on the left everybody back anticipating a cross and looking for a head one of the Seahorses uh, players looking for a header on this I should imagine what do you think Fausto yeah, we have, you know, uh, big heads in the air to clear the ball out. You know, I think uh, number 10 for the Seahorses to kind of bend it in. So we'll see what happens, Tom. Yeah, there, the, there it goes. And nice uh, heads up. Ogden Outlaws gets it. Knock it out of play. Corner to the Seahorses. Once again, a thank you to our new sponsor. Burger King and um, this corner kick's brought to you by the fundraiser they're running for Ogden Outlaws right now, selling a booklet worth $40 in value for five bucks. A coupon book available at the concession stand. So take advantage of that, everybody. Get a couple of hundred of those each and put the Ogden Outlaws in a good financial position. Thank you very much, everybody. Heads up. Got, oh, corner taken, goes across, thankfully, harmlessly. And Connor Coletti on that. Pressured off the ball. Linesman waves. Seahorses throwing. Quite a big throw from Seahorses. Carlin uh, Hobbs goes up and falls. So, what was the call on that, Fausto? Yeah, there was a foul on Kyle. Yeah, they um, went out, you know, atop his back. You know, the ref called that foul for us. So, uh, Kay's going to, you know, clear with the big boot. Thank you very much, Fausto. Everybody to the center of the field. Casey John about to take this. Smack, nice punt forward. Royce, Roy Lynch goes up. Jaden Hoth standing there, but goes through his legs more or less. Seahorses in control, tap it to their mid, uh, mid right. Mid right, back to center defender. He holds it. Looking, taps it forward, back again to their right defender, taps it up, intercepted by Matt's head to, uh, to Bukowski, Bukowski to Jaden Hoth, Jaden Hoth over to our defensive right, Connor Coletti back to our defensive center, Derek Boggs, Derek Boggs over to Fernandez, Fernandez looking for Matt on our defensive left, taps it back to Fernandez. Nice containment by Ogden Outlaws, wouldn't you say, Fausto? Yeah, see, Tom, we, we hold in position of the ball, you know, which is good. But we need to start making chances up front because, you know, right now with 35 into, you know, the first half, you know, we had, you know, two clear chances to score, but, you know, we need more. We do. Thanks for that, Fausto. Seahorses contain that themselves this time. And uh, over there, defensive right, crosses to center. Heads go up. Fernandez connects, taps it forward to hopefully Matt Carl, but intercepted by Seahorses. Two horses tap on that. And uh, Matt Cool's got it now after Fernandez. Matt Cool fighting for it and strikes it up the left wing to um, Daniel Burnham. Gives it to the center to Jaden Hoth. Jaden Hoth turns on that. Gives it to Connor Coletti. Runs it forward. Intercepted slide across the ground by Seahorses. Derek Boggs. Nice fake on that, Derek. Gives it back to the goalkeeper. Well contained Ogden Outlaws. And quickly taken by Casey, but intercepted by uh, the Seahorses. And Derek fighting for that and help by Connor. Seahorses are looking a bit dangerous right this second. Connor Coletti's got that, gives it to Ross. Ross coming up our right, coming up to center of field, looking for somebody. What's he gonna do? Oh, nice dribbles through that, being held slightly. A bit, a bit of a obstruction there. Seahorses take that. Connor Coletti's got it. Pass over to Matt on our defensive left. Matt's looking. 
Taps it up to Bukowski on the left. A nice fake on that from Bukowski. Wants to dribble it forward, but the ball goes out of play. Yeah, interesting at the moment, Fausto. Yeah, the theme is, you know, is holding the ball pretty well, you know, having good touches, you know, first, you know, one touches, but, you know, we need to make more chances up front so we can get, you know, maybe a goal in before the half. Nice chest there by Matt, controlling it on our left, driving forward on the left. Matt's looking for that, nice play, bodies up on that. For a little guy, he does well, doesn't he? And gives it to uh, Bukowski, who sails that over to Ross Williams' head. Ball on forward right of the field now. Seahorses contain that, try to clear it, hit the back of Ross Williams. Ball goes out of play. Seahorses throw in. Ogden out, uh, Seahorses taking the throw. <coughs> ah, nicely intercepted. Ross has got it from Connor. Ross is looking to place that. Intercepted by Seahorses who've got it. A lot of players over there. In the right corner of the field, top right of the field. Seahorses got it, they clear it to their center. He turns, looking for the left, nobody there. Passes it, in fact, to Casey John in goal, gives it to Derek Boggs. Derek passes over to uh, our defensive left, Matt. Matt gives it to Kyle in the middle. And Kyle holding, looking. Nobody challenging him. Holding, holding, gives it back to Matt. Nice steady pace by Ogden Outlaws, but it'd be good to get another goal, don't you think, Fausto? Yeah, Tom, uh, well, the team is doing all right. You know, I think they have, you know, the heads calm, you know, they're not rushing the things, you know, so they don't get counter. So they're doing a great job, you know, against the counter attack. So we'll see what happens in this play where Jordan has the ball. Yeah, Royal Lynch has got that, dribbling through, dribbling through, strikes it. Unfortunately, the ball rolled a little wrong off his right foot there, went across the ground, bobbled a bit, and the goalkeeper got it. But it was a good thought. Yeah, it was actually wasn't that bad about Jordan. You know, he had a great uh, touch. You know, uh, had a good power, and he placed it. You know, towards uh, the keeper's uh, right post. Unfortunately, he put it uh, well too low to the ground. The keeper just went there and cut the angle and grabbed the ball. Yeah, I think that's a good summary. Thanks, Fausto. So, ball in the center of the field, knocked out to. Seahorse is right, but intercepted by Matt Cool. Matt's still going for it. Falls in the process. Seahorse is in control. Chested by Seahorses in the center. And the player goes down, but not a tackle. Kind of something else. So, intercepted header by Seahorses at the back. They nudge it forward again. They're looking to their center again. Fernandez is on that. Matt Cool's got the ball. Goes over to him. Bit of a tussle going on in the corner. Who's got it? Right, Ogden Outlaws throw. Matt takes that quickly. Looking for Bukowski. Bukowski to Daniel Burnham. Trips on the ball, unfortunately. Seahorse is in control. Nudge it back to their defensive right. Interception by Fernandez. Nicely to Roylands. And Bukowski's got it. He's looking. Gives it to Kyle in the middle. Kyle taps it out to the, um, dribbles with it actually. And taken down from behind by the Seahorses. And the ref explains the book of the law regarding that type of foul. Free, free kick to uh, Ogden Outlaws, Fernandez to take it. Pretty much everybody up apart from the defensive line. Why isn't, um, well, I know he's walking up there now, but do you think what is, Kyle should be up there, I would have thought? Well, uh, Kyle's, you know, staying back in, you know, behind the forwards, you know, to control the middle. I was why he hasn't gone up. Right, nice header by Jaden Hoth. Turns on that and strikes it back. Goalkeeper gets it, though. Seahorses clear it to their defensive left. Contain it. Wanted to through play that, but intercepted by Fernandez in the middle. Kyle's got it. Kyle looking, holds the ball, slows it down, gives it to Matt Cool on our defensive left. Kyle turns, passes it back to Derek Boggs. Derek Boggs coming up, unmolested by any Seahorses players. Nice pass through to Connor Coletti, who takes it up the, the wing, up the right wing. He's looking, looking, crosses over nicely, looking for a head, and almost gets it to Bukowski's head. 
Ball goes out of play, goal kick to Seahorses. Nice thought though, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, great play. You know, Fornish with the cross went a little bit over, you know, from uh, Burnham's head, but just a good try. We need to keep, you know, making those kind of plays, you know, until we get, you know, a goal in. Yeah, I think so, Fausto. Thank you. So, ah, good. Carl gets that in the middle, taps it down with his head, gives it to Bukowski. Bukowski to Daniel Burnham. Daniel Burnham dribbling up center, moves to center, falls. Ref blows on that, free kick. Nice dangerous position for the Ogden Outlaws. Can we monopolize on this? What do you think, Fausto? Yeah, this is a great opportunity. I mean, uh, somebody, you know, I need to put it on frame, but most likely they're going to try, you know, cross it in so we can get a header in because I think it might be a little too far for uh, Burnham's uh, feet. Or maybe Chance might, you know, have a goal, you know, at the goal. Thank you, Fausto. Goalkeeper moving back. Uh, goalkeeper. Referee moving back to the wall. Second he turns around, they, they move up. And uh, one of our astute uh, fans just said, uh, as soon as the ref turns, they move up. Oh, nice fake there by Matt. Nice low kick. Oh, lovely strike there by Pekowski. And it goes straight through the wall, and, but hits the uh, well-positioned Seahorses goalkeeper. He's always in the right place, that goalkeeper. Well, yeah, Tommy, you said the right place is right in the middle where he should be. You know, we had two opportunities where, you know, we just kick it right down the middle. But you're going to try to play somewhere where, you know, where the keeper has to die for it. So if we keep wasting opportunities like that, Tommy, it's going to hurt us at the end. I think so, Fausto. Thanks for summarizing that nicely. Matt Cool's got it on the uh, left, looking for a long cross. No, taps it back to Carl. Taps it back to Fernandez. And the ref blows for the first half. So do you want to summarize that, Fausto? What do you think? Well, pretty, you know, exciting half, you know, uh, uh, the Outlaws, you know, they, they dominate most of the half, you know, having good touches, you know, control the ball in the back, moving it forward. We had two clear, you know, good chances by Jordan and, you know, um, one that, that um, Burnham shot, you know, and the goalie saved this. So, uh, and also the Seahorses, they missed one shot, they blew over the net. So it looks going to be an like interesting second half, Tom. I think so too. Thanks very much for that, Fausto. Oh, well, um, nice play all round though, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you know, both teams, you know, are, are uh, especially the Seahorse, you know, they're very uh, stable. They work well against the counter. But I think the Ogden Outlaws, you know, are playing uh, about way, way better today. Hopefully, this, you know, they can take um, the win today, Tom. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for that, Fausto. Yeah, nice, good, clean game. And um, that's the way we like to see it here at the Ogden Outlaws, uh, Bonneville High. So, wonderful. And the uh, crowd is um, coagulating around special offer from Burger King. I think already about 300 books have been bought, but I might be exaggerating. I don't know. I can't count very clearly from here. But anyway, there's a nice offer from our new sponsor, Burger King. I'll mention it once more. Um, $40 value coupon book going for $5. You can buy it at the concession stand. And... Uh, that's being offered for this game and for a couple of others, I think. So wonderful. Take advantage of that, everybody. All in all, an excellent uh, first half. A uh, little bit disappointing on the scoreboard, though. I'd like to see a few more goals by uh, Ogden Outlaws. But hopefully we anticipate those with a lot of salivation for the second half. Here we are preparing for the second half of the Ogden Outlaws home game here at Bonneville High in Ogden against the South Californian Seahorses and the uh, score so far is 0-0. Looks like Ogden Outlaws have had the uh, dominance of play so far, the majority of play and the skill set too but unfortunately haven't been able to put one away. Seahorses look dangerous from occasion uh, to occasion but uh, on the whole good, key, uh, good clean game and everybody's uh, happy with the soccer. Let's hope we get a score though. There are ball girls looking at me. I wonder where they're from. Just get them to introduce themselves. Where are you from, girls? What, what team are you from? Outlaws. 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 Which one though? U15. U15. Okay, excellent. Well done. So the Ogden Outlaws U15 ladies team is uh, well doing the balls for us on the sidelines today. Thank you, ladies. Press just blown. Hopefully. Uh, Drawing the players to the centre of the field, so we're going to be taking the uh, second half kickoff anytime soon. Takes opportunity once again to thank our newest sponsor, Burger King, and the $40, uh, $40 value uh, coupon book. It's available from the concession stand here at home game and uh, for the next couple of games, I think. And it's being sold for a uh, value of uh, $5, which is uh, 
All right, Mr. Pekoski just looked at me and gave me a wink, so that means I'm doing not too bad a job. Excellent, thank you. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, Burger King, for your uh, sponsorship and your 40 value book. Going for $5, a coupon bargain by anybody's standards. Take this opportunity once again to thank our other sponsors. Science Bank, we haven't forgotten who keeps us in business here in Utah, here at Ogden Outlaws, and Digital Impulse, uh, DJ Specialist Entertainers, governed, owned, and controlled in a very old-fashioned, patronic Italian style by DJ Vito, 801-603-0434. And another sponsor, eraweber.com, Era Weber real estate company here in Ogden, 801-627-6500, and Elite Electrolytes, I say again, Elite Electrolytes, and Scoreboard Sports here in Ogden, 801-292-3500. And wake up now, www.wakeupnow.com, phone 801-373-2600. And Hertz rent a car here in Ogden at 801-614-5005. And Chick-fil-A, 4067 Riverdale Road, 801-394-0661. And of course, last but not least, Bomber Athlete, Bomber Fast, Bomber Strong. I'd like to take this opportunity to also thank Mike Hickman, the uh, owner and coach of the Ogden Outlaws for putting together this wonderful team and the legacy it has for uh, the city of Ogden, our first city, Ogden, Utah, the seventh best town in the in the U.S. to live in, with a wonderful soccer team. And here we are, about to take the kickoff. Uh, people hanging about, a ref looking to blow, but sorting a few things out first. Take this opportunity once again to thank Bill Francis, our excellent camera man and the imagination company and his wonderful relatives and in-laws and children vincent and kendra who are here with us today filming again and uh thanks bill for everything you can see his work on youtube you can see it on, uh, at uh, ogden.cc the website you can also view it on ogden channel 17 and davis channel 17. so go there to watch the game on TV, otherwise see it on the internet or YouTube. There you go, one and the same. Here we go, so, see horses in control, pass it back, cross it to their center defender. Oh, nicely intercepted by Jaden. Matt Cool knocks it to center. Daniel Burnham holds that ball. Something was called there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, I mean, yeah. What was that call for, um, Fausto? Yeah, it looks like the, the linesman saw a Daniel coming back from the offside, and he didn't get back too quick, so he was caught offside. Again? Okay. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> okay, so ball back to Derek Boggs. Chips at the center. And intercepted by the Seahorses, but regain control by Jaden Hoth. Gives it to Roylance. Roylance looking for someone. Dribbling forward and still maintains control nicely. Gives it to Ross William over on our forward right. Gives it back to Roylance. Strikes it to centre and uh, just misses a goal off to the right. And uh, interesting attempt. Yeah, you know, a good try by Jordan, but unfortunately couldn't get it, you know, uh, within, you know, the goal line, so the ball will now play. Uh, hopefully, you can you know pick up the intensity you know, in the second half. You know, with the again, you know, the ball control and, and make more chances at uh, goal. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, acute angle to say the least. Goalkeeper strikes that low and hard over to their left, nodded on by the winger there. Harmlessly goes out of play, and uh, Derek Boggs takes the throw in back to Casey John and goal. Gives it back to Derek. Derek unpressurized unpressured I should say he's not a pressure cooker after all um, Jaden Hoth elbow from behind by the Seahorses goes down free kick to be taken by Carl Christensen taps it over to Bukowski on our left left wing here intercepted by the Seahorses Seahorses coming up looking for some space trying to fend off Bukowski tap it back they uh, switch it over to their left, intercepted by uh, Ross Williams, and the ball goes out of play, throw into the Seahorses. <clears throat> Tapped up by the Seahorses, nicely 4-4 by Derek Boggs, 
hands go up seahorses asked for a call on that and didn't get it that time but they get it this time and uh Fernandez came in on the back of uh, Seahorses player number, what, what's his number, do you know? I was number 15, uh, Renan, you know, kind of came strong, you know, caught number 15's leg. Yeah, so free kick to Seahorses. And uh, everybody uh, congregating in the middle, looking for a header on this. Let's see if they surprise us with another set piece or something else. Crosses it over, heads go up. Nice by Kyle, knocks it out to our defensive left. And uh, Renan's looking for space and does a short tap to Jaden. Jaden to Bukowski. Tackled somewhat unofficially, <coughs> naughtily, by uh, Seahorses. Quickly taken there by Matt Cool. Matt Cool to Jaden in the middle. Jaden to Connor Coletti. Connor Coletti back to Derek Boggs. Holds it. Moves up, looking for a pass. Shunts it up to our forward right. Nobody there, unfortunately. Ball goes out of play. Goal kick to the Seahorses. <clears throat> Short goal kick to centre defender out to their... Right defender, switches it to the center, tries to anyway, intercepted by Fernandez. Daniel Burnham's got it, chest, shoulder, controls the ball on the ground, gives it to Kyle in the middle, Kyle back to Fernandez. Fernandez looking, crosses it over to Conor Coletti, nods it on to Jaden, nicely done. Jaden Hoth taps it back to Kyle Christensen, Kyle Christensen holding, uh, gives it to Ross. Ross taps it to Matt Cool on our defensive left gives it to center Fernandez Fernandez looking game nice slow pace Matt cool bit of a miss hit uncharacteristic for Matt to Ross Williams but intercepted by Seahorses Seahorses looking and holding and Ross Williams is on it and meant to be a chip forward by Seahorses but ball goes out of play Matt cool is going to take the throw in they look like they want to pressure our defensive uh, line up a little bit more uh, aggressively in this half. Yeah, it looks like uh, California you know, is coming out with everything, you know, trying to get, you know, uh, pressure in, you know, see if we can uh, make a mistake in the back. But, you know, the team is very steady in the back, you know, uh, uh, not losing, you know, um, a ball. So hopefully, you know, we can uh, work a little more going forward. You know, so far, you know, in the first half, you know, the pace has been a little slow. You know, the team needs to uh, win here today so we can keep our playoff uh, hopes alive. So Jaden stepped on the ball and held it for Bukowski, but Bukowski intercepts that and is taken down from behind by Seahorses player. Gets a yellow card from the ref. Carl's going to take it, or is it Matt? Pretty much everyone up. Linesman practicing yoga as we speak, which is always good for the soul and body. Helps him make the right decisions. Looks like Matt's going to take it with his famous left. Looking for the head of Conor Coletti maybe, or Jaden, or any one of them, because they're all good in the air. Oh, whistle, whistle, whistle. Linesman holds that play there. Ref blue, here we go. Nice strike, long and hard. Whoa! Goes over to the right, out of play harmlessly, but it looked like it was on target from my perspective. Yeah, it looks like the, the sun gun, the keeper's uh, face, you know, he knew where the ball was going. You know, uh, uh, fortunately for them, you know, the ball w w went out of bounds. Yeah, and uh, that wasn't that far off the mark, was it, from that distance? No, it was like about, you know, half an inch away from the post. Fantastic. So next time it goes right on. So goalkeeper, goal kick, punts it up nicely. Good goal kick. And intercepted by Kyle. Very nice header by Kyle, and Jaden's got it. Got it back from Conor Coletti. Conor Coletti chips it forward, intercepted by Seahorses. Uh, Derek Boggs got it. Passed it over to Ross. Fakes that, wants to run on it, but ball goes out of play, unfortunately. Seahorses throw in. Seahorses looking to nod that up there, left wing, and strike to middle. Uh, interesting footwork by Fernandez and then Matt cleared by Matt. Daniel, 
Daniel's got it in the centre. Daniel's got it. Goes down. Oh. Ref actually doesn't blow the whistle on that. Now he blows the whistle on it. On a different thing altogether. Can you explain that from a technical perspective? Uh, happened pretty quickly. Yeah, you know, good job by Daniel by turning quickly to the right, you know, having the open space. But, you know, um, better job to the defender that got there in time and slight tackle the ball. It was all ball, clean tackle. But then Jordan kind of lost his head and, kick, you know, tackle strong, you know, tried to, uh, to get the ball back. Obviously, this ref hasn't been paid by Barcelona, so consequently, he didn't call a penalty on that. Goalkeeper comes up to take the free kick. Ref blows, goalkeeper swacks that forward. And Derek, powerful head forward on that. And nicely intercepted by Ross. Roy Lynch has got it, wants to tap out over to Ross. Handball, they call, but the ref doesn't see it. And the ball goes, stays in play. Connor Colletti gets it, collects it, moves up, moves, moves to centre, taps it to Ross. Ross looking for a cross, maybe, holds the ball, goes back. Connor Colletti's got it, looking for someone. He's got it for Kyle. Pass it to Kyle. Kyle taps it to Jaden Hoth. Jaden Hoth back to Connor. Connor to Kyle again. Kyle looking to Ross Williams. Nice control over there on our forward right. Uh, good ball goes out of play. Deflection from uh, Seahorses. Throw in to be taken by, by Big Kyle. Is it going to be a long throw, Fausto? Yeah, that's going to be a, a long throw in there. And you see, Tom, uh, this last play, you know, this is what the team has. You know, they have great players, you know, that can touch the ball, you know, play in the opposite team's area. You know, they're very dominant, you know, so hopefully we can, you know, work off that and try to get a long ball in and try to knock it in the back of the net. Nice summary. Thanks, Fausto. So, nice big throw by Kyle. And Jaden pads that down. Oh, oh, center, nobody to the center off oh, Daniel Burnham's kick. Now, forward defender, classic at the back there for Ogden. Cleared nicely by Fernandez over to Derek Box. Derek Box taps that up our right to Connor. Connor challenge, ball goes out of play, throw in. Connor Coletti for Ogden Outlaws, gives it to Ross, Ross back to Connor. Connor taps out forward to Ross. Ross has got a clear run. He wants to come to centre and he makes it to centre. He's making it in. Goes for a call there. And uh, the ref does call. What was he calling for, Fausto? It was a defender, you know, uh, kind of pushed uh, Ross away from the ball. And, you know, that's why the ref, you know, let, let the play go on for a little bit, but then saw that Ross wasn't going to get to the ball, so he called the foul. Okay, so he's looking for advice, didn't get it, and called for the foul. Yes. Thank you very much. Here we go then. So, free kick to be taken by... Matt Cool by the looks of things. Matt very accurate with his crosses. And again, nicely so. Goalkeeper's hands up, nice and steady. He intercepts that ball, settles it, wants everybody to go up before he does a drop. Puts it on the ground, then he kicks it over to their forward left. Seahorses forward left, get that. Looking. And a bit of body work there between our forward and our defender. <clears throat> Daniel Burnham chips that on nicely, looking for Roylance. Roylance, is he going to get it? Goalkeeper goes for it, drops down, collects the ball, rolls it forward to Seahorse's left. But they get it, but rendered harmless. They tap it forward, intercepted by Derek Boggs. And intercepted again this time by Jaden Hoth. Jaden Hoth to Carl Christensen. Christensen over to Matt Cool. Matt Cool holds it on our left. Fernandez taps it over to Hobbs. Hobbs moves up on our right defense. Small ball to Jaden. Jaden to Kyle. Kyle back to Derek. Derek. Hunt set up, intercept from the back by, now we've got it again, nice, nice, nice through by Jaden, and that's in the goal, what are, they, what are they squabbling about over there? Yeah, I could tell from here, it looks like he was going to be outside, but you know, my, not by a lie, he was outside by a foot, if he was outside, you know, good got caught by the light linesman, so uh, it's going to be a free kick for the um, seahorses. Very unfortunate, very unfortunate indeed. Didn't look offside from my perspective, but then again, I'm 150% biased, but there you go. Okay, so free kick to be taken. 
by the Seahorses and a couple of subs coming on for the Seahorses. They're number 20 and 23. 20 is, I don't know the numbers, all the names, unfortunately. And uh, anyway, a couple of subs coming on for Seahorses. Sons and the goalkeeper, Seahorses goalkeeper's eyes. Smacks that, goes up to the left. Uh, Connor Colletti collects that with his head, taps it forward. And Roiland's taken out in a sort of swivel tackle from behind. Ref didn't like that, he's got the yellow card out. Yellow Seahorse player with the wonderful ponytail. <clears throat> Looks like Derek Boggs is going to take this from our defensive right. Seahorse's coach doesn't like the decision. He thinks too many yellows have been handed out by the ref. The last three fouls. One for you guys, for us. So, Derek Boggs backing up. Derek strikes it. Lowish and hardish to our right forward. Roylands goes for that, but ball escapes, goes out of play. Goal kick to the Seahorses. Low strike on that goal kick by the goalkeeper for Seahorses. Oh, in step forward in the centre there by Seahorse, but intercepted by Fernandez. Fernandez runs on that, looking for Pukowski. Pukowski goes, lets it go to Daniel Burnham. Daniel Burnham trying to hunt that ball and try and almost connects. And Pukowski got got it, gives, gives it to Roylance in the centre. Roylance ran off the ball, not a foul. Jaden looking for it. Jaden looking, actually gives it to Matt. Matt coming up in support. Gives it back to Jaden in the centre. Jaden to Roylands. Back to Jaden, but unfortunately intercepted by Seahorses. Seahorses move forward with one of their uh, new subs playing. And uh, not intentional by Daniel. Takes a bit of a swipe. Seahorses player. Matt defending nicely. Nice Matt cool defence on that. And uh, Bukowski does well to maintain that ball. And a clash there. Uh, clash there by Fernandez on number 15 for Seahorse. We heard that here. What do you think happened there, Fausto? Yeah, it was a strong chance uh, by uh, Renan, you know, uh, and also, uh, you know, what the referee decided to call the fouls because, you know, the player number 15, you know, decided to, you know, exaggerate, you know, uh, pretend that he got hurt, but in reality, he's, you know, he's okay. You know, that's why the referee, you know, called the foul on that. Okay, okay, so another yellow awarded. Come on, make some noise, here we go. By uh, the ref, and uh, free kick to be taken by the Seahorses. Making a run, making a run, ref, uh, ref blows, ball goes over, ball goes out of play. Casey doesn't bother to go up for that, just lets it go out. Cold kick, Casey John, Ogden Outlaws. Our fan base has fallen strangely mute. I don't know why that is, Fausto. I think I've eaten too many hamburgers from uh, Burger King. Is there a connection, do you think, by, by eating too many hamburgers and falling mute as a crowd? I think they might be right. Too much satisfaction? I don't know, but anyway. Our... Uh, Real-time analysis for the crowd, trying to pump them up, but they're all too busily munching away to do anything about it. As uh, Casey John lines himself up to take the goal kick for the Ogden Outlaws. Bit of repartee going on between the uh, ref and the uh, Seahorses coaches. Goal kick taken by Casey John. Jaden goes up for it. Uh, Seahorses get it. Seahorses new sub contains that ball number 23. Pass it to centre. Nice interception by and long cross over to the right, but ball goes out of play. Fernandez does that, looking for Ross, unfortunately for us. Throw in to Seahorses, short throw in. 
Yeah, Tom, if you see uh, it's been a substitution, you know, Elias, I think Amana came in from Jordan. You know, Elias came in, you know, to change the... Uh, to change, you know, the way the game is played right now, because right now, for the fans, uh, prepares a little bo uh, boring. So hopefully, Elias, you know, can do something on front and maybe, you know, score the winning goal. Thank you, Fausto. So, yeah, Elias had Tungimana from Burundi coming on uh, to uh, lift the game a little bit of his very, very light footwork. Who came off for him? That was uh, Jordan. That came off. Okay, thanks for that, Fausto. Jaden's got it in the centre. No, he hasn't. It gets away from him. See, horses got it. Two horses holding, holding, looking for their right wing. Defender comes sweeping up on the right, but ball goes out of play, unfortunately, for Seahorses. Good thought. Bad, uh, execution not quite perfect. Matt Cole's going to take the throw in. That was a noble run by their defender all the way up. Jaden nods and turns, uh, looking for Bukowski. Seahorse has got it, hold it on the line. Tap it over, go to center. <clears throat> and uh, Hatukumanga shadowing there. And get in there, get in there. And nicely done, Kyle. That looked like an unintentional fall to me, not a trip by Kyle. He's not a dirty player by any means in any way, shape, or form. Hatukumanga's got it, drilling into center. Ref blows on something. What was that, ref? What was that blow for, uh, Fausto? Uh, silly call. It looks like uh, the ball may have touched Elias, you know, uh, forearm or hand. You know, that's why I ref called our hand on uh, Elias. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, so Seahorses looking for the center and ball goes up. Heads go up, I should say. Fernandez gets that and Boggs gets that. Ball goes right over. Hits our reserve cameraman in the back of the head because he's asleep at the back there, but it doesn't deter the actual cameraman. Nice job. So seahorses throw in, ref blowing, he's going to have to discipline, uh, he feels he's got to discipline the seahorses coach who in contrition claps his hands and uh, oh, <coughs> Matt goes in, bit of a hard tackle there, brings the player down, wasn't intentional but was a strong connection, another yellow by the ref, this time to Matt Cool. Yeah, that's a strong challenge, Tom. You know, unnecessary, you know, for us to do that, you know. We don't want to lose our head, I think, you know, at this point of the game. But they are being a bit exciting, Seahorses, over here on this portion of the field right now. So there seems to be a lot of tension breaking out right over here near the coaches and everything. What do you say? Yeah, it looks, you know, the coaches for Seahorses, you know, is getting a little aggravated with the ref. You know, as the ref told me, you know, one more word would be uh, throwing off the game. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, a bit of a magnetic hotspot right now. I think the ley lines are a little bit mixed up right here, right now. We'll ask the Pagans about that later. Okay, number 23 for. Uh, Seahorse is about to take the free kick, looking for a long cross, I should imagine. And he does. Nice cross too. <clears throat> Goes a bit low. Nobody there to intercept it with their feet. And Ross Williams uh, shadowing on that. Ball goes out. Throw in. Nope. It is a throw in. Connor Clay to take it. Throws up the line, looking for, oh, nice turn by Elias. Elias to Daniel Burnham. Daniel Burnham wants to turn on that. Intercepted and played back by uh, the Seahorses to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper strikes that low and hard over to their left. Intercepted nicely by, Derek, uh, by Connor Coletti's uh, head. And Ross Williams running forward on that. Running to centre, passes it back uh, over, I should say, to Daniel. Oh, Daniel Burnham strikes that straight away and it just goes out of play, hits the post and the goalkeeper's hands almost simultaneously, unfortunately for us. What do you say, Fausto? Yeah, Tom, uh, from this point, it looks like the ball, you know, went inside, but actually the ball went, you know, uh, outside the post and, you know, uh, into, uh, you know, the back of the net. So, um, yeah, it'll be a goal kick. Nice play, though, wasn't it? Okay, so... Seahorses, long goal kick. Nice chest by uh, Seahorses, but intercepted by Kyle. Kyle and Derek Boggs contain that nicely. Derek Boggs moving forward on that. Uh, dangerous place. Seahorses got it in the centre, lining up for a shot. Nice back by Fernandez. And Lias goes up, gets up high for that. 
contains it with his head, gives it to Jaden. Jaden in the centre, taps back to Connor Coletti on our defensive right. Connor passes it back to Jaden. Jaden looking, looking, holding, slowing the game, looking for Connor. Connor chunks it up the field to Elias. Elias looking, dribbling, dribbling, fast, nice, fast, holds it. Holds it, plays the centre, nobody there to intercept it. Unfortunately, Daniel Burnham, he's got it. He's going for it. He gets in front of that. And somehow it's blowing on him. It's not blowing on him. Who's it blowing on? Can you explain that, Fausto? Yeah, that will be um, a free kick uh, for the outlaws. You know, Excellent. Uh, it will be, it's, it's in a great position right now. Hopefully we can not waste like we did the other two. Maybe somebody, it will be Chance or Kyle can put it, you know, up in the top 90. That would be great. Yeah, very tenacious play by uh, Daniel Burnham there. He was behind, gets in front of the ball, and then himself gets pushed from behind. So the ref calls that a free kick for the Ogden Outlaws. Jaden Hoth, after a good game, goes off, uh, goes off and uh, Joe Hickman's coming on. So we've got another striker in the midfield type of position coming on here. Yeah, you know, Joe Hickman has a very, you know, uh, offensive, you know, uh, mind of play. So hopefully he'll be supporting the offense. And uh, he's very uh, strong and aggressive. So, you know, this is what the team needs right, right now. Is his face better? Yes, uh, you know, the reason why he was out, you know, last game, because, you know, uh, he, uh, he had a little big bruise and, you know, that prevented him from playing uh, the last game. Free kick. Oh! Strike low, intercepted by Seahorses. Seahorses play it forward in the center. And Cole goes for a slide, intercept tackle there. Player goes down, ref doesn't call. And Seahorses coming up the le uh, their left, striker to center, intercepted with a head down by uh, Matt Cool. Matt Cool loses possession to, to uh, Seahorses. Seahorses scrabbling for it. Uh, Joe Hickman fights for that, pass it up to Elias. Elias dribbles. Was looking for Daniel Burnham, but intercepted by, by the Seahorses and collected by the knees on the ground of Kyle and uh, Kyle Christensen. And then the ball goes to Joe Hickman, who gets rolled from behind. So free kick. He strikes it quickly over to... Uh, too quickly, in fact, over to Ross Williams. Ball goes out of play. Throw in to Seahorses. Seahorses. Play it over to the centre, intercepted nicely by Joe Hickman. He's looking, he's looking, he's holding, he's dribbling. Takes it over. Oh, he was looking for uh, Ross, but intercepted by uh, Seahorses. And now intercepted by the chest of Derek Boggs. Taps it to centre, looking for Kyle. Kyle running up, slowly. Nice, nice tap. Looking for the head uh, of Elias, but unfortunately a bit long. Goalkeeper's got that. Goalkeeper rolls it. Picks it up, looking for a drop kick or what? Puts it on the ground, smack. There it goes, sails up the left of them. Matt Cool intercepts it nicely with a head, ball goes high. And Seahorse is looking for control there. Nice footwork by Seahorse, nice footwork. Nice footwork, Kyle shadowing. And uh, they've got it in the center. Bit of a dangerous place. And that was a good strike by Seahorses. Sales so just over the bar by a couple of inches on the right. A good effort by Seahorses. What do you say, Fausto? Yeah, you know, that, that was a good strike. But, you know, Casey, you know, I was eyeing the ball very uh, well. And, you know, it just, uh, you know, got it out of bounds. Yeah, I think he read it well. Nevertheless, I would have been um, slightly less uncomfortable if I was in goal then. Good job I'm not. <clears throat> OK, here we go. Goal kick nice. Back header by Seahorses, lose it to uh, Daniel Burnham. But Seahorses get it back. Seahorses play it to their forward right. Cross it to the centre harmlessly. Daniel Boggs just takes a punt at that. Caught deftly by our third goalkeeper, who's also a technical expert, Fausto. Ball to be thrown in now. Thrown to be taken by Seahorses. Seahorses players down. What's up with him, Fausto? It uh, looks like he's uh, cramping a little bit. You know, they're players helping, you know, get that cramp away. Aren't there medicines for that type of thing? Yeah, there's a lot of medicines for that, um, Tom. Well, why didn't he drink any beforehand? Uh, oh, you know, just play a decision. You know, uh, you know, it's me, you know, I kind of like water, you know. Yeah, water. Right, exactly. Okay, there we go. So 15 pints of that. Okay, everybody takes a bit of a break. Throw in now. Right, so... Nice footwork again, but nice footwork, counter footwork by Joe and Elias working together. Daniel Burnham's got it, holds it in the middle. Taps it to Carl. Carl strides forward. Carl looking for Joe. Joe strikes it over. A bit long to Bukowski. Bukowski gathers it. Looking for some fancy footwork himself on that. 
but ball's played out and throw into Ogden Outlaws. It's a bit of a Portuguese play that. <laughs> yeah, you know, very uh, um, uh, good job by a chance, you know, trying to, you know, get through. But defending, you know, very pretty well and just uh, knock the ball out of bounds. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for a big throw in from uh, Kyle. Usually throws a ball a couple of hundred yards at least. So he's looking for the center. It should be fairly easy for him. Here it goes. Nice, long, direct low. Intercepted by the foot of uh, Seahorse's player. Nicely nodded down by Matt Cool. Matt Cool looking for Kyle. Uh, escapes him. Gathered up by Seahorses. They shunt it forward. And... So Lionsman calls that. He's got out of his tree position in yoga and he calls that. Yeah, it looks like um, one of our players, you know, kind of uh, when uh, number 15 went up, he kind of went down. So he, he will, you know, do a little uh, tip over and that's why he fell awkwardly. Okay, thanks for that. So not intentional by any means. At the, uh, Matt Cool's going to take the free kick. Matt looking around. Is he going for Ross? Who's he going for on this, would you say? He's going far. Oh, almost by Daniel. Daniel jumps up for that. What was the call the ref made on that? Uh, I was offside with Daniel. You know, I was uh, caught, you know, a foot behind offside. That was just why the ref called it, you know, a foul on us. Okay. So, taken quickly by the uh, Seahorses goalkeeper. Ball goes out of play, throwing. Dan, uh, Connor Coletti's going to take it for the Ogden Outlaws. Jordan! Sub coming on for the Seahorses, number 16. Wish I had their names, I'd announce them, but I haven't. I've got their names, but not coincided with the numbers, so it puts me in a bit of a hard place. <coughs> and uh, their uh, winger midfield player, I think it's their number 10's coming off, and Carl Christensen's coming off, which is uh, a bit uncharacteristic, but it's good to see Ethan Summers coming on. So, nicely played by the players. And uh, let's see what the subs do. Ethan always looks eager, doesn't he? Yeah, Ethan, you know, very uh, experienced player for the Outlaws. You know, he's been here a couple of years. You know, he knows what he's doing. And he's always eager, you know, excited to play every single game. Yeah. Oh, so what was that, Fausto? Uh, the ball was hit to a Ross. It looks like it hit, uh, you know, unintentionally uh, Ross's hand. That's why I draft goal, you know, handball. Thank you. So headed back by uh, Seahorses to the centre. Pass it out to their right, to their number 20. He's a pretty nifty player. And uh, he's dribbling, dribbling, looking for the centre. And he gets it to the centre, but intercepted by Joe Hickman. But back to Seahorses. Elias shadowing. Goes back to their chip forward again. Chip forward. And the head goes back in a Matt Cool's face. But a uh, Seahorse player goes to the ground. And uh, you've got a read on that. What happened there, Fausto? Yeah, it looks like uh, um, the player for Seahorse is going to get a sandwich right there in the middle. It looks like he's going to hurt. He's asking for a substitution right now. All right, he's rolling his hands. He wants someone to come on for him. What's up for him, sir? So Seahorse coach asking for a sub. Ref's got the message. Number two for Seahorse is coming on. In fact, yeah. Looks like he twisted something there pretty bad. It looks like, uh, I think it's cramping of his um, thigh. I think, I think, I think that, that's what's hurting him. It might be his knee. So hopefully, you know, nothing too, uh, you know, too dangerous for him. Looks like yeah, at least he's walking, that's good. So, excellent. Everybody clapping. It's nice to see a bit of a gentlemanly sportsmanship going on in this day and age. Something we love. And uh, number 15 coming off the seahorses, number two coming on. Ball roll to Fernandez by the goalkeeper Casey John, looking for Connor Coletti, fakes a little, moves up, looking for the ball in the centre, gives it to Joe, I think. Joe back to Ross, Ross to Connor. Connor intercepted with that by the body of uh, Seahorse player. Right, so, oh, Ethan Summers. Nice, nice job, Ethan. Stops that play in the centre. Nice job. And uh, 
Daniel Burnham scrapping for that over there on our mid right. Ball goes out of play, throw in to Ogden. Oh no, free kick actually. What was that free kick called for? Uh, it was like a little, they were grabbing uh, um, um, Burnham by the back. That's what the ref called foul on them. Okay, thanks Fausto. So Derek Boggs taking a free kick. And goes to center, intercepted by the head of a Seahorse player, chested by Seahorse. And they play it out, but keep it in. And ball is out, ref calls. So nice quick part, um, throw in by Matt Cole looking for Daniel. Uh, Daniel uh, harasses the uh, Seahorses player and they lose control of it, throw in to Ogden Outlaws. Matt pass it, uh, throws it to uh, Joe Hickman. Joe Hickman hold in there. Knocks it to centre, looking for Elias, who slips up, unfortunately. But uh, Joe's going for it. He wants that ball. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Right. <clears throat> Joe shadowing, shadowing, shadowing nicely. Tenacious wants to get in there. And, oh, nice dribble, though, by Seahorses. Looking for their centre. And Ethan, lovely slide on the ground. Lovely centre defence there by Ethan Summers to Elias, who's dribbling forward. And looking for a play. And it goes to... Offside, call by the linesman on Daniel Burnham, unfortunately for Ogden Outlaws. That looked like a good play to me, Fausto. But he's talking to his girlfriend, so he can't have any technical information on that at the moment. So goalkeeper takes free kick. Um, Seahorse has got it, pass it to their right, pass it back to their defensive right, chips forward. Bit sloppily, intercepted by Bukowski. Bukowski sends it to centre with his head, but intercepted by Seahorses. Derek Hobbs nods it on to Ross. Ross dribbling up on the left strike, but coming to centre. Ross has got it. Nice, takes a shot. Oh, and a good save by the Seahorses keeper. Good play by Ogden Outlaws. Good save by the Seahorses keeper. Excellent. Did you get, get any of that? Is the missus still on the phone or have you got time for us? Yeah, Tom, you know, a great save by the goalie. You know, it looks like the Allen Law is going to go up and, you know, and try to, you know, get this goal that they, you know, desperately need. So um, good job by the boys. You know, they're pressuring them all the way, you know, towards the end. And hopefully they can, you know, knock one in. Yeah, I'd say so. Thanks, Fausto. So, corner being taken and head goes up. Uh, looks like uh, Conor Coletti got his head to that. Taken by Ross. Ball goes out of play on this side now. Throw into Ogden Outlaws. Taken by Elias. Back to Matt Cool. Matt Cool looking for the centre. And uh, back off the heel of uh, Seahorses player. Matt takes the throw again. Looking for Bukowski's head. Uh, cleared by Seahorses. Derek's got that. Oh no, Conor Clay's got that. And um, Ethan passes it back to Fernandez. Fernandez looking for Matt. That's got it. Holds looking. Passes up to Elias, who wants to fake that, but intercepted by Seahorses from behind. But Elias wants that ball back and goes for it, but unfortunately takes the uh, Seahorses player down. So free kick to Seahorses. What do you say, Fausto? Yeah, Tom, now the game is going to get excited, Tom. You know, both teams, you know, they're, they're tied up. You know, they won the win, you know. And uh, the Outlaws, you know, they know they wasted the first half, you know, not putting you know, those goals in the nets. So now is the chance, you know, to go all out. So Daniel Brennan quickly takes that throw to Bukowski. Bukowski looking for Elias, holds the ball, dribbles, taps it off the back of uh, Ethan Summers, got it in the centre, gives it to Ross over on our forward right. Ross is dribbling up, wants to cross it in. Oh no, he's dribbling in, holds the ball, crosses over, and turning header! by da Daniel Burnham and that was a lovely effort but that goalkeeper's all over the bloody place he got it again yeah good effort by Daniel but he kind of was in an awkward position you know hard for him you know to hear that ball you know you seen uh, the boys went right to the keeper's hand right and uh, Matt shadowing that nicely but Seahorse is still in possession Seahorse is in the centre of the field Joe's looking to hound him uh, ball goes over to Seahorses, far left, forward left, but goes out of play. Looks like Conor Coletti's going to take the throw. Eight minutes according to Casey John, the Ogden Outlaws goalkeeper. So let's get a goal. Ross Williams coming off, Mr. Henriksen coming on. Well done, Ross. Good luck, Henriksen. Is that right? I think so. 
Yeah, Eric Henriksen, is that right? I think so, number 18, is that right? Is it? Or is it, tw yeah, Eric, oh, number 24, I should say. So, ball goes forward. Elias looking for that. Sneaky, gets control. Gives it to Daniel. Daniel puts, puts it over to Elias looking for the centre. And yes, what a fantastic goal. Elias to uh, Daniel Burnham who takes the first time left shot on there and nails it. Bloody beautiful, bloody beautiful. Yeah, Tom, what can I say? You know, about time, you know, the boys had a lot of chance in the first half. And this one, you know, good Daniel job by Elias. You know, so Daniel coming in and just gave him the ball through ball. And just uh, Daniel's one time, boom, right in the corner of the net. Daniel, the bomber, Burnham, kicks that bugger in beautifully. Wonderful, Daniel. Wonderful play, Elias, to get it to him. And that was done so quickly. Their footwork is bloody dazzling. Yeah, you know, good job by Elias. You know, uh, getting that pass from uh, Burnham in first, you know, making the run towards the right, then crossing it in. Thank you, Fausto. So, centre kick to be taken by the Seahorses. Yeah, they're looking a little bit uh, depressed. That came almost at the 11th hour for them. We've got, it looks like we've got a bit of a injury or something here with uh, one of the Seahorse players, number 11. Uh, hobbling a little bit, number seven coming on for him. So, number seven taking up the defensive position for the Seahorses. Ref holding. He's about to blow any second now. They don't want to waste these minutes, do they? Uh, no, it's on the Seahorses, you know, now they're losing, you know, it's going to be tough for them, you know, to even, you know, try to tie it up. You know, the game is all, you know, been dominated by the Outlaws, you know, the defense has been pretty steady, you know, Renown and uh, Bugs have done a great job at the back. Hopefully this game cannot escape out of our hands, you know, maybe we're going to try to get a second one in there, Tom. Yeah, I think so too. Right, so, Henriksen going for that, but let's go for Matt. Matt crosses, uh, shunts it up to Elias on our left. Taps into centre, but harmlessly to uh, Seahorses goalkeeper. Seahorses goalkeeper throws it out quickly, looking for the centre of the field. Their number six plays it back to their centre defender, who knocks it out to their left. Back to centre, back to centre defender. One of them anyway. Taps it over to their right. Nicely intercepted by Seahorses player there. Looking for somebody on the on their right. Turns for it and trips over uh, Bukowski's foot. Uh, no, Fernandez is foot, I should say, and um, free kick to oh, free kick to uh, the Seahorse is taken very, very quickly. So the ref calls that back and wants to see it taken again. He wasn't ready for that. Looks like they're number 16 going to take this free kick. Our wall is being made as we speak. Let's hope there's no holes in it. Yeah, Tom, this is a very, very dangerous time. You know, uh, Seahorses are very close, you know, to the 18-yard line. You know, I think it's going to go uh, take a shot net. And uh, hopefully, you know, um, the walking will block it out. Right, so we're waiting for this. Re with, uh, ref blows. Whoa! And Casey John, lovely, bodies that down. Nicely captured. Lovely by Casey. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Rolls it out to Matt Cool. Matt Cool gathers it. Looks for a long up the, and he's looking for Daniel. Daniel again to maybe. Ah, uh, hopefully he was going to strike this, but the uh, Seahorses goalkeeper intercepts nicely. Taps it to their centre in defence, more midfield I should say. Shunts it forward to Connor Colletti collects chest down, holds the ball. Taps it over to. Bukowski. Bukowski to Joe Hickman, who was hoping to play that back to Bukowski, but nobody there. Seahorse has got it. Henriksen pressuring, pressuring, and over to uh, Seahorse's right, defensive right coming up, strikes it to centre, and Casey gets it. Keeps it in, picks it up. It's waiting for everybody to go up, I should imagine. We're in a good position, Fausto. Yeah, you know, we're controlling the game. You know, a couple, like, uh, four minutes left uh, of regulation, then whatever the ref decides to add on. So hopefully, you know, put uh, this uh, game in the bag. Daniel maintains control there. Gives it to Joe Hickman. Joe Hickman over to Matt Cool on our left. Matt, oh, nice ball through to Henriksen. Back to Joe Hickman. He's looking. Gives it back to Henriksen. Back to Joe. Nice play. Joe taps it to Henriksen again. Oh, nice play. Henriksen keeps it in the middle. Now pass it over to 
Uh, Connor Coletti taps it back to Derek Boggs. Boggs up the field to the right to Joe. Nicely to the feet of Joe. Joe goes down. Ref waves, play on, don't wave in it, he just lets it go. And uh, nice Fernandez interception with header, goes over to Matt Call. Matt Call on the left, sweeps it over, looking for somebody intercepted by the Seahorses. Goalkeeper keeps that in play. And. Drop kick, quickly taken diagonal drop Bro. kick by Seahorses, intercepted by Derek Boggs, just takes a swipe at that, why not? Knocks it out of play, throw into the Seahorses. Connor Coletti, Boggs, who is that over there? I can't see. Oh well, anyway, bukowski has got it. Moving up, moving up. Hounded all the way by the Seahorses, and ball goes out of play. Uh, Ogden Outlaws take the free kick on that to Joe. Joe, oh uh, no, Daniel Burnham moves, moves forward very, very niftily. Dribbles, takes a shot. Goalkeeper gets it again with his hands. He's a good goalkeeper. The Seahorses goalkeeper takes a swipe at that drop kick. Bit, a bit of a wobbly one. Looks like it might go out of play. And it does go out of play. Ogden Outlaws ball. Throwing to be taken by Matt. Refs uh, warning Matt Cool for uh, attempted uh, taking his time there or something. A little bit harsh, I would have thought. Yeah, uh, but it looks like, you know, um, nothing uh, happened. You know, I think he meant intentionally. Oh, that was lovely, lovely. He went to the centre. Joe Hickman got it, tapped it forward for Daniel Burnham, who ran out of space. Goalkeeper got it, but a lovely thought there. Yeah, uh, you know, good job by Joe giving a through Orange. ball, you know, uh, hey, good job, player. you know, for uh, um, Daniel Burnham, you know, all games being, you know, chasing all those balls, you know, he had most of the chances, and, you know, good job by him. So, Casey John's got it all the way back there, our goalkeeper takes a drop kick on that, a bit of a sky shot, Henriksen's going up for it, he's got it, nicely, maintains control, wants to play it too, and he does to Matt, Matt's got it, tries to tap it through back to Henriksen, uh, Seahorse has got it. Ball goes out of play, Henriksen, nice bit of defence there, on the halfway line. And Fernandez, nice swipe forward, looking for Elias. Elias running on that, goalkeeper running to it. Oh, header, header, almost goes over the hands of the goalkeeper of Seahorses, but doesn't, so that's a bit of a bugger. Quick drop kick by Seahorses' goal. Keeper all the way up the field, all the way to Casey John. I think they're playing yo-yo with the ball to goalkeepers a little bit at the moment. Uh, thrown out by Casey John over to Joe Hickman. Joe Hickman to Bukowski. Bukowski staying in control of the ball. And Ethan Summers gets it. And tries for it. And is a little bit now from the back, but uh, a bit of a keen play. Clean play. Uh, the ref doesn't take any notice. Played forward there by Joe Hickman. Joe Hickman to Elias, but stripped to the ball. Uh, ref blows. What does he blow that on, Fausto? Looks like they're, they're following Elias, and you know, Elias have the great opportunity. You know, he said I hit a little bit over the goalie, but the goalie's a very tall goalie, so he just jumped up and you know, got two hands on the ball. And what happened just now? What's this uh, uh, free kick for? Did you see that? Yeah, it's going to be a free kick for us. Uh, it looks like uh, Elias, you know, kind of got a uh, tackle uh, by behind. Okay, so nothing too horrible by any means, and Joe Hickman's going to take a strike at this. Let's see what he does with it. Or is he? Yeah, it looks like he is. Okay, ref satisfied with the position of the ball. Joe looking around. Fan base, very, very noisy. Or are they asleep? I can't really tell from here. Not making any noise, that's for sure. That's a sign of overconsumption of Burger King Burger. So anyway, nice uh, tap up the field there by Joe Hickman to Daniel Burnham. Ball goes out of play. Throw into Seahorses. Seahorses. Joe takes a swipe at that. I think it was Joe. Ball goes out of play though. Goal kick to Seahorses. Going to be quickly taken here. Yeah, Tom, look at uh, another substitution coming in by the Outlaws. Uh, Maxwell coming in for uh, James Bukowski. Now, Maxwell is a very, you know, he's uh, a right winger, you know, kind of plays, you know, right back also. So what he's coming to do is, you know, taking the right, uh, right wing position, kind of turn into an extra, you know, bull leg uh, right back, you know, to get more stability, you know, into the field. Right, there was a nice defensive play from Fernandez to Ethan Summers there. Um, quick balls, powerfully sent to each other, head to foot and controlled nicely. But now, already, the ball's gone all the way back to the other side to Conor Coletti. He collects it. Ball goes out of play. 
throw in to Ogden Outlaws, Connor Coletti. Chucks it up to Joe. Joe Hassel from the back. Connor to Ethan. Ethan. Oh, strike, strikes that. Claims that, oh no, uh, Derek Boggs struck that. Claims there was a hand, but the ref didn't see it. Turning. Uh, scrap in the middle of the field here. What was that call for, Fausto? Uh, well, the ball you know, was bouncing around and I uh, hit uh, one of uh, our Ogden uh, players a hand. That's what the ref called handball. Another, um, you know, dangerous position, you know, for um, the seahorses, you know, they want to tie this game up. Uh, hopefully the boys can, you know, defend well on this one. I hope so too, Fausto. I hope so too. Did you sacrifice the right goat this morning? Uh, yes, I did, Tom. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. That puts us in a good spot. Okay, so... Uh, Seahorses looking dangerous. Got a big wall going up here. Got Henriksen in it. And uh, Fernandez. Daniel Burnham. Joe Hickman. They're striking it. And nice uh, body interception there. But ball goes out of play. Uh, Casey tries to get a foot on that. But nevertheless. Corner to the Seahorses. Linesman sprinting back here. He's coming off, guys. So Alejandro's coming on as a sub for the Ogden Outlaws. And who are they calling off, do you think, Fausto? Uh, Dylan Burham's going to come off. they adding Alejandro, you know, to burn, you know, the extra time that was added on. And, you know, to add a third guy in there. And now uh, Daniel, um, um, Derek Buck's going to be more into right defensive now, mid. Alejandro's coming down more on defense, you know, to hold that, you know, that three uh, triangle in the middle. Thank you very much, Fausto. Good technical read on that. Here we go, Linesman back in position. Alejandro sprinting over. Corner goes in. Head goes up. Back header by Fernandez, nicely out. Goalkeeper's even up there, takes a swipe at that. And everybody's taking a swipe at it. And they're big swipes too, thank goodness. And completely out of play, goal kick to the Ogden Outlaws. Goalkeeper for the Seahorses is sprinting back to his goal. That was exciting for him. Casey John. Yeah, Tom, there's 30 seconds left. You know, the team was going out all defense now, trying to hold, you know, wait out the 30 seconds, you know, to get this uh, three points at home. Thanks for that. 30 seconds now, more like 22. Henriksen goes up for that. Matt Cool punts it forward to Elias over on our forward left, who looks to dribble it out. And the ref plays full time. And a great victory. Modest but great, nevertheless, from a fantastic goal by Daniel Burnham late in the second half. What do you say, Fausto? Well, uh, good job with the boys, you know, get this uh, third um, uh, three points. Um, that helps us, you know, uh, uh, tie for third right now in the, in the conference. And uh, just to recap, you know, the game, the first half, you know, we had two good chances, but, you know, dominated most of the games. Uh, you know, we started the second half a little, you know, slow, but the boys picked it up. You know, we had a lot of great chances, and, you know, just one goal, you know, one zero. You know, that's all the team needs uh, to get the three points. Wonderfully said. Thank you, Fausto. Nice, clean game. Everybody enjoyed themselves a lot. Coach has got a little bit excited from time to time. The referee was uh, flicking out the yellows here and there, but all in all, good calls. So, uh, nice game by all. And Ogden Outlaws win it 1 0. Fantastic. Elias pass to Daniel Burnham. Daniel Burnham strikes it straight away. Goes in. Wonderful, wonderful goal. 1 0. Nice victory for Ogden Outlaws. So, Everybody congratulate each other, shaking hands nicely. Nice gentlemanly game. Fausto wanders off to give his technical expert help to the team members and give them advice for the next showdown. Daniel, that knee's a... Uh, what happened to your knee? Tell us about that first. Oh, it's just tendonitis. Just, just been, been bothering me a lot this season, so... Okay, excellent. That was an excellent goal. I think you struck it with your left, didn't you? Yeah. That was lovely, lovely ball laid on by Elias. That was perfect. Yeah, it was. Oh, we were looking That's for that whole game. Better late than never, right? Yes, that's right. Fantastic, mate. Well done. Well Thank done, Ogden Outlaws. Well done, Daniel. So let's find Elias quickly. Just now, beautifully timed pass. Well done. Uh, thanks. Yeah, we did a great job. And then we like when we see each other, so that's how we do great things. So, yeah, that was... That was, that was a beautiful few, a fluid play. Yeah, that was a beautiful one. So... And then he finished, I like that though. Yeah. So That's that was, always good. Yeah, that was a great game. Well done, Elias. Well done. Uh, Fantastic play, mate. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, thanks. Right, so let's summarise quickly. Great victory for Ogden Outlaws, 1-0. Uh, good play by everybody, gentlemanly game. And uh, Seahorses did well, but we got the advantage in the end, and that's what counts. So thank you, everybody. Thanks to uh, uh, my technical specialist, um, Fausto. He's uh, off giving advice to everybody at the moment. And we look forward to tomorrow's game. This is Tom Hudson signing out at the Ogden Outlaws home game here tonight at uh, Bonneville High. See you tomorrow as we play the Orange County Blue Stars. Strange name, maybe not such a strange club. Let's see how it goes. Hope we win again. Good night, everybody.